you might be working on Oracle Fusion Cloud application as a technical consultant from so many years and you might have been creating BIP report that is to extract the data from Oracle Fusion Cloud using the custom SQL queries. What if I tell you that in the BIP report when we write our SQL query there is an option in the data model wherein we can write the custom PLSQL procedures or the functions. Suppose if you are wondering how we can write the procedures or the functions right into the data model instead of a simple SQL query then we will see how to create the procedure in the data model when we are building the BIP report in this class. I have logged into my Oracle Fusion Cloud application instance and I have navigated to the analytics or the BIP catalog. I am here in the one of the folders which I have created for demonstration purpose. First and the foremost thing is we have to create the data model and we have to create our procedure. I will click on plus and I will click on this data model. In the data set we have to click on plus and from the menu over here we have to select the SQL query. For demonstration purpose, I will tell over here procedure demo. So this is the name I will be giving to my data set. From the data source, I will go for FSCM as I will be creating a procedure that is to extract the supplier information which is part of the supply chain module in the Fusion Cloud application. Usually we will go for type of SQL as standard SQL but if you click on this menu, we are having the procedure call. So using this you can write your own custom PLSQL block or the procedure or the function right into this section that is the editor what you see with the name SQL query. Now before we go ahead and see how we can build the procedure or write the procedure in this SQL query editor section for our data set we will have a quick walkthrough on the documentation page by Oracle and see what Oracle says about this procedure call. I am here in the official documentation page that is for Oracle Business Intelligence Publisher. From the table of content, we have to navigate to creating the data set. Now, our focus of interest is how we have to write the procedure call. Oracle has demonstrated over here in this section with the code snippet, wherein they have told how we have to construct our procedure, which will fit in the BIP report data set. Now, in order to begin with, there are few requirements which we have to consider before we write the procedure. So, you have to make sure you have to return the result using this ref cursor. So if you see over here they have created a type and it is a ref cursor. It is of type ref cursor. So we have created one more variable that is xdo underscore cursor. As Oracle says over here this name is reserved that is for the output variable type if you are going for the procedure or anonymous call. We have to create this variable only if we are making use of the procedure and it is the reserved keyword. We cannot use this while creating any of the SQL queries which will throw an exception. Now for demonstration purpose Oracle has considered one employee number. So that is in order to extract the data from the employees using the employee ID. So this we don't need in this class. But what we will do is rather we will open the cursor that is xdo underscore cursor and we will write the response what we get from the SQL query into this cursor. As this is the keyword whatever we write over here it will be visible in the response in the data set using which we can build the BIP report in the later stages. So this is the important thing you have to consider. Now we will quickly create a procedure in order to extract the supplier information. For demonstration purpose I have already created a SQL query or the procedure I will walk you through the same. Here is the simple procedure I have written. As Oracle tells we have to open this declare and the end. This is the PLSQL block we have to construct that is declare begin and the end. Next as Oracle tells we have to create a ref cursor it is of type ref underscore cursor and this is a three word that is xdo underscore cursor it is of type ref cursor. So these things is mandatory while creating any procedure for BIP report. Next comes our use case that is I am creating one variable which can hold the value for the bind parameter that is at runtime what I will do is I will assign one bind parameter and I will check the data for that particular supplier if that particular supplier is spend authorized or prospective. So there is a logic over here I have written a function. So this is to demonstrate how we can write the function and the procedure right within the BIP report. So that is the intention of writing this PLSQL block or the function. So this is a simple function I have written which will check the supplier type. 
Now, if you closely observe p underscore in enabled flag, this is the input variable or the argument for this function, and the response from this is a varchar2 type of data. This p underscore in enabled flag, this is the bind parameter, and I'm calling that function over here. So, bind parameter I will be sending p supplier type either y or n. So, what we'll do is once we call this check supplier type, let's assume supplier type I have sent as y, then if it is y, then we are manually hard coding it to spend authorized else a prospective. So this is just for demonstration. You can modify this function as per the business requirement you are having in this project. So once we get the V supplier type like spend authorized or prospective, usually this data will be stored in this business relationship column in the table. But I wanted to just demonstrate how we can write the function within the procedure. Next, we are opening the XDO cursor. So this is how we have to return the data from our procedure when we write the PLSQL block using procedure call function in the data set. So here we have to write the SQL query. So like this, we can build the procedure that is the PLSQL block and internally we can have n number of functions and we can solve lot of business challenges by writing the procedure right in the data set instead of syncing all the data from fusion to the database ATP database that is locally hosted in your customer environment and then writing the PLSQL procedures functions in the ATP database so using this approach we can write complex logic right into the BIP report I will copy the entire code from here and I will paste this in the VIP report dataset. I will paste the query over here and click on OK. Go to the data. So by default, when we add any bind parameter in our SQL query, it will create the parameter. In this case, we have to manually create. Go to the parameters, click on plus. In our case, we have created a bind parameter with the name P underscore supplier type. I will provide the name and the display label as this one. With this set, click on save. I will save this with the name procedure call underscore dm and click on OK. I will go over to my data set. The parameter is still not showing. Let me toggle and come back to the data. Yeah, now it is showing. I will view for testing purpose value as y and click on view. Here if you see, we are getting the list of all the suppliers who are spend authorized. Now table view is not available for this POS procedure call. I will make this as N and click on view. This time we are getting only prospective suppliers. Now before we create the report, we have to click on save as sample data. Done. And we can create the report. Click on create report. I will use the default dialog what we get over here. Click on next. Click on next. From here, I will add the vendor name, enabled and organization type and the business relationship. I don't want to show the grand total. Click on next and click on finish. So we have to store the report with the same name that is underscore report. Click on OK. So I will test this report, give the same value Y and click on apply. This time we should be seeing all the suppliers who are spend authorized. Now I will give the value as N and click on apply. We are getting all the suppliers whose business relationship is prospective. So like this, we can create the simple procedure right into our data set in the VIP report and we can write complex logic right into the data model instead of syncing the data to the ATP and writing the custom logic in our customer databases. Alternatively, you can also write this query using the with clause. So here is the simple with clause which can return you the same data. So this is the SQL query where you are filtering the data with the with clause. You are getting all the supplier information and then filtering using and authorized or prospective using the flag that is P supplier type. Now let me create a data model and I will demonstrate the same use case. I will go back to my catalog and I will create a data model. In order to create the data model, we have to select the SQL query and I will name this as with clause and FSCM we have to select and standard SQL and paste this. Click on OK. Then this time it is prompting to create the parameter because we are using the SQL query instead of procedure. Just provide the value that is for the P supplier type and click on view. You will be getting the data for all the spend authorized suppliers. Now suppose if I give over here N and click on view, we will get the details of all the suppliers whose business relationship is prospective. Now for the SQL query, table view mode is also available. Now let us quickly save this data model. So 
So these are the couple of ways how we can create the BIP report or the data model. One is with the with clause and another is with the procedure. So using the procedure, you can build the complex logic right into the data model. And if your business logic is minimal, you don't have complex logic, which you have to implement, then you can go for even the with clause that is also known as CPEs. Thank you.